Darkcast Network. Welcome to the dark side of podcasting. If you like weird, spooky, and strange history, then I have the podcast for you. My name is Brenda, and I'm the host of Horrifying History. Are you into the dark side of history? Horrifying History tells you about the side of history that people don't normally talk about. We tell the tales of haunted places, infamous true crimes, the paranormal, and unsolved mysteries, and then we look to history to see where the truth actually lies. Want to get spooky with us? Get your Horrifying History fix by subscribing today on Spotify, Spreaker, or wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Devil is on his way. Devil is on his way, motherfucker. Oh, the devil gonna make you pay. Fall to your knees. Devil is on his way. Fall to your knees. Devil gonna make you pay. Fall to your knees. Devil is on his way. Motherfucker, you don't... Mountain Murders is an Appalachian true crime podcast. Some content may not be suitable for all listeners. Listener discretion is advised. We say fuck a lot. I love your idealism, Dylan. Thank you, baby. Okay, in a perfect world, we could all just get along. Yeah, Rodney King advised he us all to do that. He was on to something with that. Yeah. And look where we are. And look where we are. We're going backwards. We're going backwards, and it seems like in almost every facet of life. You know, I don't know. I, I just have this sneaking uh, suspicion that the COVID lockdown... And people being like out of society for a bit. And out of touch with each other. Has created, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but this thing in people where they, it's like they forget themselves and they forgot how to act in public yeah. and they forget just basic like rules of society. Yeah. And they act a damn fool. You see. No but, manners. Yeah. They have no concept of other people, space. I mean, just, I don't know. But I'm like, it is truly, it would be an interesting case study for some sociologist or anthropologist or something out there to see how our society devolved over the last like two or three years. Because it just seems like it's gone all to hell. I mean, I, just everywhere I go, I look around and think, what is wrong with y'all? You're so right. You're so right, Heather. And, and used to, you might see something. Over the last 10 years, you've seen a, a, an example once or twice in your life in public of what you're talking I about. I just don't remember as a kid ever going into a public place, a store, a restaurant, and watching people be so mad and disrespectful and scream and holler and show their ass and just act like a damn idiot in public and try to fight the worker and be, belittle and degrade people who are just there doing this shitty low paying job over the and dumbest. Yeah, I ought to be glad they fucking showed up because nobody wants to do this shit. And then this is why, cause you're screaming and hollering at them and acting like a damn moron. See, <laughs> I mean, what, what, I don't know. I just think, my gosh, you would have never seen that kind of shit 20 or 30 years ago. And if you did, everybody in that store would have been looking at the, the person showing out like, what is wrong with you? And probably would have taken it upon themselves to be like, get the hell out of here and like escort them out of the store. You're right. More than one person in that crowd would likely either come to the aid of the employee or it would start at least admonishing that person acting a damn fool and telling them to cut it out and get the hell out of there because nobody wants to hear that. See, nowadays you can't even do that. Somebody's going to pull out their phone. They're going to record it. It's going to go on social media. Um, you never know now if you confront somebody who's wilding out, if they're going to pull a gun out, a knife out, what they're going to do. So people are afraid. And people are just afraid to stand up for other people these days. And it's a damn shame. Not that long ago, an argument... Uh, in a chicken restaurant over whatever yeah. between that man and that woman. And he kept telling her that woman that he's going to hit her. She said one more word and then he freaking hits her and her 14 year old son walks in the door and shoots him over some dumb argument at the register in public. I mean, that's the dumbest reason I've ever heard of. And I'm not saying the boy shouldn't have shot him. I'm not saying any of that. That's a whole nother story. That's the dumbest reason to be dead. I'm sorry. 
And then people was like, oh, he, he had two kids. And then, then he probably shouldn't have been acting, a, beating a woman in public over an argument in the damn register line, people. About who's going to get the damn last chicken tender. I mean, what are we fighting over? Um, I mean. It meant nothing. What I guarantee, whatever they were fighting over meant absolutely nothing in the big scheme of things. So, I mean, just get it together, people. Well, we know it's not our listeners. Oh, my gosh. One, one more time. Look, our listeners have it together. They do. And they're smart people. And I know that they go out into the world and they handle their business. And they're probably super polite and awesome. And they know everything. Yeah. Well, yeah. They're the smartest people ever. They listen to Mountain Murders, right? All right. One more again. Let me thank the sponsors of today's episode. It was not a good one episode. more again. One more again. Okay. You did grow up in Shelby. Down around Gastonia, y'all. I would like to thank our sponsors, um, Christine. Christina. And, I'm sorry, Christina. And Michael. Chris, and Michael. Thank you very much for sponsoring us over there at patreon.com forward slash Mount Murders. Podcast. Podcast. One of these days, you're going to get it right. I'm going to tattoo that shit on my head. But. One of these days, you're going to get it right. And thank you, Heather, for these stories. It was a great discussion, I think. I always love having a, a thoughtful discussion with you, Dylan. I know. I felt rather engaged, and I feel like um. Uh, I sounded goofy two thirds of the time, but for a third of that time, I sounded pretty, pretty interesting. I agree. I sounded goofy two thirds of the time. <laughs> okay. uh, eventually, I learned to speak English, kind of. When we get off and, the mic, she she, she speaks the King's Eng- King's <laughs> English, uh, and uh, she uh, is very uh, articulate and enunciated. It's weird because she gets on the mic and she's old mush mouth. It's bitch. so true. I don't know. I think that you distract me with your. Good looks and sparkling personality, Dylan. My huge head. Your good looks. All righty then. Until next time, we hope everyone stays safe and uh, try to fight off that hyperinflation, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Jesus, Lord. <laughs> the grocery store is getting ridiculous. I don't know what's happening. <sighs> All right. Until next time, we'll see you in the midweek. That's We'll see. Okay. Sure. Yeah. We'll be back on Wednesday with a brand new midweek. And because it's October, we'll be bringing you something extra spooky. Oh, let's go watch a scary movie and snuggle. Let's do it. All right. Good night. Bye. Bye.